Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all doing well. Today's video, I am back with a new entrepreneurial video and this one is going to be the first episode of my new series called Start That Business Sis. <laughs> Quite often I get messages just in regards to starting your own business, what you need, how to find lash vendors, how to do this, how to do that. I thought I would start a series where I could help you guys to start your own business if that's what you guys want to do, which is a blessing. Like I promise you starting your own business is the best decision that you could ever make if it's for you. These episodes on the series Start That Businesses will hopefully come every week and they are going to be extremely informative. I'm going to be leaving printables down below every week as well so they are free. You don't have to pay for any of it. That's just going to go in, in depth of what this video is about. Today's episode is how to find lash vendors. As usual, I have my notes here on my little clipboard. When you are trying to find lash vendors, the first thing you're going to need is Google. You need to get google out and you need to start researching typing in lash suppliers it's going to give you websites and how you can use them as well the four top places slash websites that you can find lash vendors is alibaba aliexpress dhgate instagram as well alibaba is the best place to find lash vendors that's where i found my lash vendor it can take time to find a reliable lash vendor but they are definitely the most credible website. I'm sure for most sellers, you get payment protection. Going on Alibaba, making an account, then typing in 25 lashes, whether you want it cruelty free, mink. AliExpress is also really good. When I first started my business, I did start with AliExpress lashes as well as Alibaba and their lashes are okay. I feel like it's better for personal use rather than selling it. While I know so many people who buy their lashes from AliExpress and their lashes are bomb. So it's kind of like a hit and miss. You just need to make sure you're finding a reliable supplier. If you just type in the search bar, 25mm mink lashes, cruelty free lashes, you, you get what I mean, fluffy lashes, like key common words type that in next up is dh gate now i haven't personally used dh gate they're quite similar to alibaba so you just do the same method type it make an account type it in search for lashes message the suppliers ask for pictures blah 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 there's instagram which is kind of strange that you can find lash vendors on instagram but you really can all you need to do is go on the hashtag section on the search bar and type in 25 mm lashes or 25 mm mink lashes fluffy lashes lash vendor and then you can literally search through that hashtag with different pictures of um, suppliers who are predominantly in china who offer mink lashes the only problem with that you have to be very careful because if you're doing it externally not from a protection website if the supplier takes your money that's it you can't really it's sticky like you may not be able to get your money back and if they're not a trustworthy supplier they can take your money and run so one thing i recommend is maybe if you do decide to pay and a vendor through instagram and whatnot try and ask for paypal invoice get them to create a PayPal invoice and then you pay through PayPal because obviously then you'll be protected if anything was to go wrong. Obviously, God forbid. They are the four top methods of how you can find lash vendors. Now I'm going to be quite specific now and give you just some basic but yet very very vital points on finding reliable and good lash vendors more quickly so i'm going to talk on alibaba specifically because this is the strategy that i like to use you want to go on alibaba and you want to go on the search bar and type in mink lashes and then what you want to do girl is you want to filter options based on the amount of sales so the higher the sales and the higher the transactions they have received the more reliable they're going to be because other business owners use them if you don't filter you're not going to find as good and trustworthy lash vendors so the key really here is to just filter your options allow the suppliers who have the highest sales to come up first you want to contact that vendor and ask them for pictures of the lashes you want to say hey girl hey boo hey boy um can i see pictures of your lashes what type of lashes do you have are they fluffy are they you know on a thin side are they 25 mm do you have under 25 mm these are all the different questions you want to be asking before you pay for lashes okay make sure you have a specific style slash length in mind to ask them basically like you want to make sure that you're coming with 
some key questions you know don't forget ask at least three sellers don't ask just the one i don't recommend relying on just one try and find at least three sellers if you do the filter option that i just told you about i promise you you'll find good free sellers very quickly compare their lifestyles see how it would fit with your brand or business and take it from there you want to ask about custom fees because a lot of businesses do not cover custom fees they cover like you pay for shipping but shipping and customs are completely different so make sure you ask if they cover it and if they don't just be prepared that you know it could be sticky and the last tip is just to ensure that once you get it you take your time to calculate how much you would be selling each lash for um you need to make sure you're making it at a profitable amount so you're making money back plus a bit of profit for yourself and your business of course guys these tips can be applied to if you're trying to find a lash box vendor i can do a separate video on finding lash box vendors but it's the same thing and i feel like i would just be repeating myself but yeah if you use the same techniques all you need to type in on the bar is customizable lash boxes or customized lash box on alibaba i found my lash box vendor from alibaba as well i did the same technique i did for my lashes and they turned out really good to be honest with you okay guys so that is it for the video i hope you guys all enjoyed i hope this episode of start that businesses was informative make some money boo if you did enjoy make sure you give this video a thumbs up subscribe for more and i'll see you in my next video bye